spread that guppy love. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Guppy Garage. So today we actually got some new fish. These new fish are actually completely extinct in the wild. I am super excited to get these fish. I got them from another subscriber or another YouTuber. Uh, his name is Mike and he runs the Instagram channel, The Guppy Shack. So go follow him on Instagram. He's an awesome guy. He sent these to me at no charge. All I paid was for the shipping. Um, and the only thing he really wanted out of it was that I spread kind of just the knowledge of this fish. So this is a CARES species fish. This is called the Golden Scyphia francia, I think is how you pronounce the second part of the name. Uh, super excited about these. So he sent me two trios of them. Actually, I think he sent me, yeah, he sent me two trios and some fries. So really, really cool. Um, he packed them very well. I am very excited about these. So these are a live bear species. Um, but like I said, they are 100% extinct in the wild. These are a hobbyist bred only fish now. So they are only in people's aquariums, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, so we are going to be putting them into this fish tank right here. So we set this up one up a while back. Um, I didn't film doing it because I just wanted to get it set up. So actually I moved my colony of longfin uh, Corydoras in here. So these are the salt and pepper longfin Corydoras or Corydora platius, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so there are four of them in here. So they are a community fish. We've got a really nice uh, Nouveau L30, um, so a long 30 gallon, and it's got a whole system of filtration in the back. We also do have the Aquarium Co-op Easy Feeder on here. Um, I am doing some tests on those to see if they are as great as I think they are, and they are doing very well for me. I did have one out of the 10 um, that did not work out of the box, so that is kind of, I'm sure, why Corey ended up kind of removing them from the website because he didn't want people to have that same issue um, since he really cares about what people buy from him and the quality of his products. Um, today I also did get a shipment of stuff from Aquarium Co-op and today I got some of the Fritz 7. Um, the live nitrifying bacteria naturally removes ammonia and nitrites. Um, so I am really excited about this as well. Um, this tank has been cycling for about two weeks. Um, but I wanted to get a little bit more bacteria into there just to make sure that these extinct fish um, do really well in their new home. So that is what I am doing. So the uh, so the directions on this state, remove chlorine from water prior to adding, discontinue use of UV, UV sterilizer, which I don't have any on here, and for four days after each application, shake well, and add directly to the aquarium, add livestock, do not overcrowd or overfeed. Um, so for a new system, you add four ounces or one half cup for every 10 gallons. For established system, it's two ounces per 10 gallons. So this is a semi-established. So I am just gonna kind of pour it, um, pour and pray as they say, and see how it does. So I think that'll be good for now. That's just adding a little bit of bacteria into that tank, giving it a little bit of a boost to make it that much safer for these fish that we just got today from Mike over at the Guppy Shack. So like I said, we got two trios and we got a bag of fry. So let's check and make sure everyone did great. I think they did, they did awesome. As you can tell, they look beautiful in this bag already. I am really, really excited about these fish. Um, he said he wanted to send these to me in a, I think it was in one of my live streams. Um, and I was like, yes, 100% message me. I would love that. So let's get these guys acclimating into their new tank and then we'll add them in. Okay, so now that we've got them acclimating, we're just gonna let them kind of sit here for about 30 minutes. Um, so like I said, this is a Nouveau 30. So this is a 30 gallon fish tank. Uh, we've got some Corydoras long fins in here. We've got an aquarium co-op Christmas bridge or Christmas moss bridge some Rotala rotundifolia, and then we've got some jungle val in this end. Um, we also have dragonstone in the middle, just a nature, uh, nature stone, all stones are nature, a natural stone from Utah in that corner, and then I believe that is a piece of Malaysian driftwood. I am not sure exactly on what type of wood that is, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a Malaysian driftwood. And then we have a little piece of Malaysian driftwood in that corner as well. But we are getting some new stones from Houston Manzanita to add into this tank. Um, they should be here this week. And if they do show up, um, I will definitely film getting those and rescaping this tank. But I wanted to get these guys into a tank, so I set this up uh, about a week ago now. 
and let it really cycle and get set before I got them because I wanted to make sure that these guys have the best possible home. Since they are a hobbyist only kept species now, there are none alive in the wild. Um, it's kind of more imperative that I did this correctly, if that makes sense. So like I said, this is the Golden Skiffia or the Skiffia Francia, I think is how you pronounce the last word. Um, super awesome little live bear fish. So they will grow in a colony and they will do fine in a colony. Um, they do predate on their young, so I'm gonna add more plants as we go. Um, but right now, since these are pretty small fish still, um, I don't have too many worries about them predating on their own fry, but we will definitely add more plants. I'll probably add some more jungle val, uh, some more mosses, some more floating. Oh, and also we do have a ton of Anubias in the middle here. So behind this rock, we have a bunch of Anubias. We've got some, I believe it's Anubias gold coin and then some uh, Anubias nana petite um, as well. So love that. I also got a little piece of uh, guppy grass in there, but that always shows up in every one of my tanks. And then we have some uh, some duckweed on the top. So let's let these guys acclimate for about 30 minutes and then we'll add them into their new home. About 30 minutes, so we are gonna finally get these guys into their new tank. So I am not gonna film me opening the bags and pouring them in just because every time I do that, I tend to leave one in the bag or I have a hard time doing it. And just for the safety of these fish, I am just going to set you guys up on the tripod and just film me doing this. Um, but I'm not gonna actually hold the camera uh, just because I think it's just much more difficult for me on my end. So hopefully you guys understand, but let's get these new fish into their new homes. I got a new haircut, it's been a couple days, um, but I wanted to update you guys on the Skiffia, the Golden Skiffia. Um, these are an awesome fish, they're doing so good in this tank. We also did get some brand new plants today and we have some rocks coming in. Actually, let me turn this down a little bit, I look a little, is that better? That's better. Um, we've got some bland, <laughs> some brand new plants that just came in from Aquarium Co-op today. Uh, I'm super excited about these. So we've got some Monte Carlo, we got two pots of Monte Carlo. We got some dwarf baby tears, baby tears, just baby tears. Um, and then we got some red melon swords. I'm super excited about these swords. They came in massive, absolutely huge. Um, so once I get the new uh, the new rocks in here from Houston Manzanita, I'm gonna do a rescape on this tank um, for these golden skiffia because they are absolutely doing incredible. Um, and they are a beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, I am so surprised that that these are extinct in the wild uh, because this seems like something that would be very common um, in a lot of areas and especially a lot of fish um, stores and hobbyists because they're so beautiful. Um, they really are. I'm very excited to have these in the fish room and I am just more excited that someone was willing to send these to me for free. Again, thank you Mike so much at the Guppy Shack for sending these to me. 
Um, all I did was pay the freight to get these fish in and I couldn't be happier. So thank you so much, Mike. Um, let me get you guys some B-roll of these golden Scythia after about, I think they've been in here for three days now. Um, they're doing absolutely incredible in this new tank. They love it. Um, we added in the new plants today and we added in some of the Fritz 7, the bacteria the other day, just to give it a little bit of a boost in the bacteria kind of range. Um, so I think it is doing really awesome. I'm definitely going to check the water again. I'm just going to set this more. I'm definitely going to have to check the water again, uh, probably today or tomorrow, just to make sure that everything is still perfect. Um, but right now, everybody looks super happy. They're absolutely loving the auto feeder and getting fed twice a day. Um, so I've got it set to the, the lights come on in here at 10 a.m. Um, so I'm feeding them at 12, which is two hours after the lights come on. And then it's going to feed them again at 5.30 and then the lights go off at 10. So that gives them some good time there to, uh, to digest before the lights go off and they go to sleep. So I'm just trying to make sure that they are in a natural kind of home and habitat. And that's why I wanted to get some more plants in here because these new rocks that we have coming in are going to be absolutely gorgeous. And I want to do some really cool uh, scape around it. So I'm actually going to be filming the rescape of this tank. I know I don't normally film scapes. Uh, it's kind of my thing. I love doing it on my own, kind of by myself. It's my kind of peace and quiet. Um, but I am going to film rescaping this with you because I think it'll be a really cool tank to rescape. Um, since it is such a beautiful tank, this is a 30L Nuvo. Uh, this is originally a saltwater tank and I bought it off of Trent um, over at Well Done Tanks and absolutely incredible. Very, very happy with it. So all in the back is the filtration. So back in here, there's a filter system um, and it runs a pump and then that pump comes out into the tank. Um, so it just has these power heads up here that shoot the water out. Um, but we are gonna be rescaping this. We got some really, really cool rocks. And once those come in, we'll do a rescape video on this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to hit that like button. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, be sure to spread that guppy love. Have a great day.